Welcome back. I'm Craig, and we're continuing our discussion on Robot Studio. Well, we've already created our, our work site here. We got the robot. We got a couple of work objects, or a couple objects, not work objects, but a couple objects, table and a box. And now we're going to do uh, a work object here. So we have to take that yellow box and create a work object coordinate system. These are, these are special coordinate systems uh, where the program positions are stored. Now, if we do this correctly, the work objects will facilitate calibration and modifications of the cell layout. So when you reposition the workpiece or the robot, you just uh, reposition the workpiece correspondingly and the program is up to date again. So this is a great way of managing all your, your targets. Uh, programming a robot without having a specific work object is possible, but it isn't recommended. Uh, the default work object that comes with Robot Studio right now, Work Object Hero, it's always at a fixed location at the origin of the controller's coordinate system. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, and, and create a work object, that little yellow box. So to do that, we should probably take the robot and restore it to home. So if we go to layout and select our robot, uh, and we click on jump to home, we've got the robot in a, a very convenient position now. It's all natural, ready to work on the, uh, work, on the work object. I'm going to spin the coordinates around. I'm going to spin the view around here a little bit until we can see the box from the other side. We want to get a nice shot on it. There we go. Zoom in a little bit. It's important that we see these three corners right here. This is a uh, first corner, second corner, and third corner. And we're going to use these to define the work object itself, which is basically the very top of this box. That's all we're interested in at this point. Now, to create a work object, we go up to Other and we select Create Work Object. And you notice this Create Work Object tab shows up here. Um, we'll give it a name to begin with, uh, just to make it, uh, make it our own. So we'll say Work Object Box. Sounds good. Um, all the other fields, we'll just leave the way they are, except for we have to define the user frame. So we're gonna go frame by points, and we'll click on the little down arrow to expand the menu. We're going to choose a three-point method and we're going to choose this one as the first point. So we go to the bottom left corner, uh, choose, um, choose part selection here, and then choose uh, snap to object and make sure those are selected. So you can see the, the point shows up very easily. Click on that point for the first object. So you click on the first point, select, then we'll choose the second point, which we'll make over here. We'll choose the second point and click to the right of the first point. Then we'll go to the third point and we'll click above the first point. And if it looks good, we'll say accept. And now we have our object defined. We can say create. And now we've created a a work object coordinate system. You can see the XYZ frame right there. If we go to paths and targets and we look under the uh, work objects and targets, you'll also see the work object box frame shows up right there. The coordinate system is all ready to go. So we are now in good shape. Now we're ready to go ahead and start programming motion on our robot. 